Man, it's 8 o'clock tonight, almost 8.30. Hmm. Wish I could be in the field, but we'll get an early start tomorrow. Let's get to it. Oh, shoot. It's almost 8 o'clock already. I slept in. Oh, man. I better get to planting. So, we need to rush over, get our planters ready to get our seeds. Because it is already summer. Crazy how far this goes. So let's get to our field quickly. We'll take the truck down, race down, hopefully get the planter started. And hopefully make up for our lost time. Because... Dang it. Hate when I sleep in. If you see this already, so we already got crops growing. So it gets me kind of worried that we still have some crops we still need to get in. So I need to get started because we're going to start losing some yield if we don't get these crops in the ground. We got two more fields to plant. But we also got pigs that are hungry. We got to feed them quickly. It's always stuff to do here on this farm. I like using my old Chevy truck over here for feeding these pigs. Start this old girl up. Run over here. Make sure we back up into our feeder here. Probably need to readjust where I have rock and where I don't around this farm. It's not really feasible where I currently have the rock. Back up here. There we go. Got a fed now. So we'll go park this here quickly. Put this nicely in the shed. So now we need to run over here. And hopefully, actually, I need to check their water, make sure they're good. Oh, I think my phone's ringing. Now let me get it. Hey, cuz, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? I just found this 03 Ram one ton for eight grand. What? Where? Over in County 61. All right, eight grand, huh? Is there any major issues to it? No, not at all. It has about 98,000 on it. All right, thanks. I'm going to go try to find that, I think. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Bye. Oh, man, that is crazy. I need to be planting, but I don't know if I want to give up this deal or not. Oh, man, what do we do? Do we chance this deal being around for a while and get our planning done? Oh, man, let's just go for it. So I'm going to grab my car trailer back at my house quickly. So I'll jump in here. And we will go back and pick that up. Hopefully be able to find this nut too hard. Might have to call my cousin back just to find it. I'm really sad that we haven't made a deal of one of our trucks yet but hopefully here soon we can get a good deal on one of them uh, sell at least another one as you can see our corns coming up here nice to see that just too bad we don't have all of our corn in the ground yet hook this up all right so we are ready to go hopefully this thing will hold this big one ton truck not too bad of a looking of a Ford, don't you think? Wouldn't mind selling this Ford, but I really want another Dodge just to drive around. I've just been missing one lately. So... Where? Oh. Oh, I might see one. What do we have here? Kind of like the blue. Kind of like the blue. 
Let's see. Hopefully this is the right place, otherwise this will get awkward quick. But man, that's a good looking truck. I better make sure this is the right place before I start snooping too much. That's how you get shot. All right, so it is true. Eight grand for this old 2003? Yep, Cummins, one ton with 98,000 on it. Fairly good uh, miles for this age of a truck, so you can't ask for much more. I really like how the underneath right there, it's uh, color-coded to the paint scheme. That kind of gives it a nice little touch there. So just make sure the gauge isn't run back. So pretty, uh, pretty neat. So we do have some gauges here. So I don't know if they work or not, but that's kind of nice. Not too bad of an inside, so I don't know. Maybe I'll like this truck to keep this truck. You guys will have to let me know. That is one heck of a nice truck. Kind of like the sound of it. So that big chrome exhaust you have right there. It's kind of nifty. So they did say they had another truck. What? So this is a 93. So this is one of my favorite Ford body styles right here. That. I just love the it looks of these front ends. So I've always liked, this is my favorite Ford out there, Power Stroke Diesel. LT, huh? That's pretty nice. I don't think they want to sell this truck. Oh, look at that, a big eight inch exhaust. Woo! I kind of like the, the rims on there just because they're simple and clean looking. Kind of like that step side too. Everything on this truck kind of looks clean. I, I really wish I could get this truck too, but fortunately this one is not for sale. But you never know. You pressure them enough. Maybe we can get this one day. Too bad we can't get that one, but I'm definitely going to pay eight grand for this one. Everything looks clean. It's not rusted out. Good old truck in my my opinion. This is a best truck. So it's not a 24 valve, but it's still a pretty good uh, looking Dodge Ram, I think. So let's go pay the man. All right. So we got the keys. We got the title. We got everything we need. Now we just lower these ramps. I don't know. Should we hook that Dodge to this trailer, or should we just keep running a Ford? Oh man, that's a question right there. I think I want to run that Dodge back, so let's get this Ford on the trailer. Alright, we got it hooked up. Now we just need to drive our Ford on there. Drive it nice and carefully. Don't want to jump the ramp, that's for sure. Ooh, I always hate it when you can't see the front end. Alright, so now we just got to fold the ramps up and we are good to go. that ramp so all right now I'll tie this to there and start heading home now after we stop at Casey's we can start heading home looks like he did give us a full tank so that is considerate so we'll jump in here we'll run in here get some coffee for our day and hopefully get to planting sometime today all right got our coffee got our truck loaded so I don't know. Is this sacrilege a Dodge towing a uh, Ford here? So I know you guys probably want to see my uh, Chevy. So I really wish my Denali. I don't know what. We're having some type of load error when we're trying to load it into a multiplayer. The Chevy works great for single player. For whatever reason, we can't get it into multiplayer. So as of right now, I can't get it. Unfortunately, I'll have to talk to Buck to see if he can do something about it. To me, it's beyond me. I don't know what's wrong with it. So hopefully he can help me out. If not, it's basically a loss, but that's unfortunate. 
I guess we'll get to drive around old flurry dodge i just love these old flurry dodges so this is probably about a six inch lift maybe an eight inch lift might be a little off on that but fairly good lift but i just love the appearance of these dodges the big uh one tons always stood and stand standed very aggressive looking or high stand uh oh like we may have to go help a uh, squad plant his uh, field over here doesn't have that one planted yet he's like us a little bit behind you know driving by Mike's garage I just realized I have forgot to ask him how our Peterbilt is coming he's had that in the garage for a while might have to go over there and find out what's going on so should have it fixed I just don't know what, why he hasn't called me yet so we're just pulling in here man that truck looks good so we're gonna get these trucks unloaded we're gonna get to planting our soybeans and corn already we are behind I know I keep saying that but I keep getting so nervous gotta get them in the field so I think I'm gonna just park this into in the shed for a while don't think I'll be driving this truck I'd actually like to cut probably sell this truck sometime I just I, I don't know I just not a big fan of this body style of Ford so wouldn't mind having a different Ford on the farm hopefully a 93 Ford would be awesome but gotta convince that guy to sell it first all right so I'm gonna go park this uh, car trailer over here quickly don't know exactly where I want to park this probably just put it over by our other trailer speed going around this place got so many ponies it's coming purr so easily yeah so I'll probably just park it over here by our other trailer hopefully right on the inside of it Alright, so we hooked up our uh, seed tender over here, so I'm going to run this over to one of our fields, get my wife to run me back over, and I'm going to start this uh, soybean planter. Hopefully we can get that done. So the plan is I'm going to run right over here. So basically this is our shortcut to our back field now. We have this grass field planted right here run this over and back here should I plan on planting some soybeans all right so I think I'm just gonna get my run on I won't call my wife because it's really only like a mile whoo man I'm gonna be sweaty in the tractor now y'all in the distance He's going for speed. Oh man. Oh man, I'm a farmer, I can't run. All right, I'm gonna get in this tractor. Catch my breath. All right, so we got this full already. So we got the seed tender over there. So now, we should have enough seed over there in fertilizer to finish that field. So of course we just cut right over here. This is our little shortcut now. So kind of nice. We can stay off that hardened road and all them, you know, crazy drivers stay away from them. Because they can get pretty angry at a slow tractor going down the, the road. All right unfold this get lined up here all right now we got to set our GPS and we're off this is our last soybean planting of this year at least I hope as long as we don't have to do no replanting. I haven't checked my crops yet, so hopefully there's no replanting due. 
going along here. I really should come by here and cut down these trees. They sure do put a lot of shade down in this field, so that shade really hurts these crops. That's, I mean, it hurts the soybeans primarily because it provides uh, cover for the deer that love soybeans really hurts the corn because corn really grows tall with good sunlight and going around this field I'm sure I'm glad I planted some grass around this because man this field was just gigantic prior to me planting some grass really cut down the acreage but that acreage wasn't the best of yielding acreage anyways so that's why we ended up just uh, cut putting it into grass and hopefully we could at least get some bales off of it looks like that grass might be about ready to swath over there that grass is getting pretty tall do like to get some cutting down this year we made pretty good uh, money off of our last crop but hopefully uh, after we get our corn and uh, soybeans in we can get a our first cutting of uh, grass starting our second little uh, headland here in rows whatever you guys call it I like calling it headland I guess you call it in rows too I don't know it's headland when you go all the way around the field or an in rows is basically just two sides of the field I don't know. Alright, so I think for better visual visibility, I am going to take this uh, bucket off of this tractor. So I'll have to find somewhere to put it. Just I'm just going to lay it down just for until we get done planting it. I'll put it back up. I think I'm just going to put it right here. Right. That's should be a good place to put it so that should give us uh, some more visibility at least we don't have to look around the bucket now because uh, we got to plant our last field of corn and planting of 2020 is done unless we need to do some replant may need to help uh, squad out I don't know if he's fully planted looks like he got this field planted so it looks like this year he put that into soybeans so probably uh, it would have been corn on corn if he would have put it into corn but now it's soybeans so that's nice wonder I don't ever see this uh, bio plant running so I don't even know if this is still operational or not Oh well, we're going to be incorporating this lime the same time we're doing this planting just because we are so far behind. Alright, so we will start unfolding this planter. Takes a little bit of time because you don't want to swing that too quick. A lot of weight on either end, that's a lot of force on that center pivot. So we can definitely make pretty good time with this planter. So we're able to plant about at 11 mile an hour. So really can't beat that for speed, even with these new planters. Start going that fast in the field. You better have a smooth field because you're gonna feel every rut and bounce in that field so hopefully you have a nice suspension seat otherwise your kidneys are gonna be hurting come nighttime get this going around here so this is obviously a odd shaped field but oh well don't matter to us we'll get it all planted it's like Jake's uh, tinder is like straight ahead over there. Hopefully he got all his plant his corn in. A little bit worried uh, Grant never got all his corn in, so we 
never know, I might be the last one to plant, so maybe I am the last one. I know Grant has that field planted. I don't think he has the field behind our pig barn planted, but I could be wrong on that. I haven't done much driving around other than driving and go get my uh, truck today, so I have been seeing a lot of planters running, that's for sure. So driving around here, really wondering if as much cropland as I got, maybe I'm going to have to get another combine. One of the comments that you guys left was pretty, I like the name. You guys named our little combine Minibine, which I think is a pretty cool name myself. So we got Beast Bine, Minibine. Minibine really doesn't count as a combine. I think we'll put it in the field, that's for sure. But I don't know. I think I need another at least class 7, class 8 combine this year to put to help get our crops in because I don't know this is we got a lot of fields that's gonna be a lot for the little beast bind and mini bind to get through but you guys will have to let me know should I get another combine and what combine should I get should I get John Deere get another case or something else I do haven't seen much new hauling around here so I don't know so we are on the third in row headland whatever you want to call it uh round the loop circle of the field uh, i don't know something like that but we are on the third lap around the field i think after this i'm gonna start doing my up and down rows so i think we got enough turnaround so we won't damage the planter turning around at least we are about at 50 percent already for a planter so we just have about 44 bushels left of space so that's gonna be a little bit hard on us but looks like we're probably gonna have to get a refill here soon Alright, so we are empty of fertilizer at least, so I'm going to need a race over here and I'm going to fill this up quickly with our new seed tender on our brand new Dodge truck. Man, look at that blue. Doesn't that blue look good? That's a pretty looking Dodge truck if you have to ask me, so I've always liked blue. Kind of wish I would have bought a blue uh, Chevy I bought mine but oh well so just to make it a little bit easier well, I'm gonna back this up here all right so now I need to fold this thing out fold that out like that uh, maybe drive it ahead just a tad there we go got some seed going in there all right so that should be topped off now. Now we just got to get some fertilizer. All right, so I'm just going to race over here where we left off so we don't get confused. What we got planted. So we're making really good time so far. We just have to keep these planters running. Uh, where did I leave off? I left off. That's a weird one weed in the center of the field that's odd oh there left off right there you can tell where my fertilizer cut off right there all right we'll start unfolding this thing there we go 
Looks like we are off to the races. See if we can get both these fields done. So I'm just gonna run this planter home. I'm just gonna fill it up with seed and fertilizer quickly and then run it back to the field. That's the benefit of being so close to your fields. Just run it off. I, I kind of want to finish it off. One more load. I think one more. If we top it off, we will get through that field. Alright, so we got the planter full. Now we're going to race back. Hopefully we can get this field planted. So we still have to go... We still have probably about two-thirds of that field over there. So we got a lot of planting to do still. But we're almost done. I think we're in better shape than the other farmers, but I'm not sh for sure. So when you're doing a little strip like this, this is when you want row shutoffs. You don't want section shutoffs, you want roll shutoffs. So definitely need roll to save the seed and not overplant an area. Row shutoffs helps. Got a little bit. Looks like my GPS just isn't set just right. There we go. Start headed off here. Love having GPS because all you can do is you just have to watch the planter the whole way. That way you get you get more eyes on the planting. You kind of see if something gets clogged up there. You have a bearing wearing out, so. got a little sliver on this side this planter down here there we go all right so we got this side done I think we got enough seed to finish this field off not hundred percent gonna be close no matter what so uh, I don't know, do we have half the field done? Gotta got have pretty close to half the field done here. Gotta have at least close to half the field done, I hope. We go, start going there. That's why I like GPS. Man, do I like this new tractor. So I like the front duels, love the loader tractor. I know, I know, loader tractor looks kinda weird on a 8R but you know what you know every farm has its oddity and this is my farm's oddity here I got a 8R with a loader tractor so trust me they do make 8 loader tractors for 8R so it is real life so look it up but I think it's I think it's a huge convenience to have on the farm this big of a loader tractor and high power tractor on the farm. And a brand new John Deere on the farm. So, turn around here. So, we have to turn this planter pretty wide because of the hitch, basically, but doesn't really mean too much. I mean, we can still go. 11 miles an hour in the in the field so it, it still makes a lot better time than our uh, soybean drill over there Now 
we basically have to make sure we do not hit one of these poles. So I'm going to circle around the pole. So not like the nightclub, I'm going to do the in the field. I'm going to plant basically a circle around this pole. And then do the same over here. Gotta stay out of that bush. Try not to bend my planter up, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm not doing a good job keeping the planter away from them bushes, but haven't broke something yet off it. Alright, so this is our last pole. We got a circle. We are done circle dancing or dancing around the pole here. At least with the planter. So about what? A couple more rounds? Maybe? So we're getting pretty far now. It doesn't take long when you get to these nice short rows right here. I think our uh, cousin's almost done in the drill so pretty close we started almost at the exact same time we could get a little more acres done with our 16 row planter than she can but should be about done as long as she didn't break down we will be done for the year now it's just do we need to help somebody else out well you just witnessed it. We are done. So we're going to fold this old girl up. This is the benefits of having two good planters. I really have three planters, but for corn and soybeans, I really have two good planters. So I, I like getting my crop in, getting it in the ground, getting it off my back, and getting it done with. Alright, so we're going to take this home here quickly. Alright, we're just going to pull this in. Probably have to wash this off because we got it dirty. Holy cow, look at that. Oh my goodness, my cousin left that thing a wreck. Man, she does not wash an implement off. I mean, just look at that thing. It's got it. Must have been dirty. Must have been dusty as all get out over there. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.